We have a new tool in the Nutstuff warehouse. This is the X Laser Lab X1 Pro, which we purchased on Kickstarter. There'll be a link in the description if you're interested. We purchased this laser welder to complement our standard MIG welder when working with delicate projects or materials other than steel. This machine shines at welding sheets of steel, aluminum, brass, and copper. And it also works as a laser cutter and a rust removal device. When this machine arrived at the warehouse, we couldn't really find much instruction on how to use this thing. So we had to do a little bit of testing in order to figure it out. Join us for an unboxing and first impressions of the X Laser Lab X1 Pro. Now is that different than it looks different, right? It's green. See? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, yeah. Cool. Do we still want to wear a normal welding helmet? Okay. Laser gloves. Enjoy our laser journey. Oh, I got a little Kickstarter backer number. Backer number 1571. Did you just drop something? Yeah. We'll find that later. Do I see it? Did they cut that on one of those? It sure looks like. I want to be able to cut stuff like this. Cool. So nice. Okay. An apron. Nice. Well, you should probably put that on before you start using it. Oh, you're my pants. They're like, they're like hard. <laughs> oh, yeah, I got a dog tag. Freaking sick. <laughs> Hell yeah. You have to wear that while you're using it. Does that fit around the machine? No? Yeah, that's empty. Feed the wire into the back of the machine, and then it goes through really nice and... Is everything? Yeah. The first step was to connect the gas line to the gas input on the back of the laser welder. In this tank is pure argon gas. After that, we needed to figure out how to feed wire through the system. Okay. Figure it out? <clears throat> I think we'll just need to go get that stuff from, from welding wire. Oh, I didn't see what size welding wire. It says wire feed rolls. I feel like it should have come with like a little bit of wire. Wire feeder accessory bag. What is the pamphlet said something about fluorine? Did it? Oh. Boom. Turn that back down. I can't turn it back down. Okay, I think we're good. Hey, and then this is holding, so that's good. <laughs> it's like a barrier in Yeah. Okay. Yeah. This machine accepts both 120 and 220 volt sources but for our case, we're just using a standard 120 outlet. Now that we have power and gas, it's time for our 13th trip to Home Depot this week. Hmm. 
<laughs> so green. Big noises. Let's go. So, so this goes on like that. Okay. Okay. Yeah, and this fits inside. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. So then we need the washer goes here, and then this goes here. And so that's like you had it all the way back. No. I don't know. If it matters, then we can. No, I need to. So, like, that'll sit. Yeah. Kind of like that. And then this guy slides into here. Like that. Good. And then this goes. Oh. Oh. I need to, I need to tip off. Tip just screws on. We're using the one millimeter tip. So then this guy goes on like this, and I think cinches up around this. Okay, and then the tip goes back on. And then, should we just try using that tip first, or is the one that, is one that's like this, all right? Need some wire. Something like that, I think. That thing looks crazy. <laughs> it looks like a spaceship <laughs> yeah, seriously. thing. Okay. Wait. So yeah, feed some wire. Oh, that's power. Oh, okay. Right, okay. Ready? I think I'm ready. No? We were positive that we had everything hooked up correctly, but we still could not get the laser welder to work. The interface was a little bit difficult to work with, but we eventually got it to work by ensuring that all the locks were turned off and the laser was armed and ready to use. Need power. Looks good to me. All right. Wait, that'll be our round. Test piece. The ground's right here. Did it unplug? I'll try it, I guess. It doesn't work. All right, this is first test of welding. I'm going to try it. Oh, stupid helmet. Wow. I don't think you're feeding, but you're not feeding. It wasn't feeding wire. But it looked really cool. Alright, try two. What is this one? Yeah, I just did that. Try two, we didn't turn on wire feed button. The wire feed button, maybe? Kind of right there. So let's see if this works now. Yep. Wire, but no, it's not, not, not melting it.
So these are the settings that we ended up on when working with sheet steel. We increase the swing width, which increase the distance that the laser travels back and forth, and then also decrease the frequency down to 50 hertz. Finding that this thing, when it's touching, it melts the wire too early. So you've got to like pull it off so that the point where the laser hits the wire is also the same point where it hits the metal. But you gotta be careful not to press down on it because that pushes this thing. Yeah, so like, you have some bad welds, you have like a nice section there. Keep playing with it. So that's our first test of the X Laser Labs X1 Pro. This device is going to come in super handy for our next project, a 10 foot long Scorpion car that's fully electric and will be prowling the sands at Burning Man this year. If you enjoyed the video, sub to our channel to see more.